Hello. Many persons do not know how to activate the data analysis toolkit in Microsoft Excel. We are going to be discussing how to do this. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step procedure on how to activate data analysis toolkit so you can run your data analysis with ease. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you get recent notifications from time to time. Now, we'll go straight to the point. This is our spreadsheet, the Microsoft Excel window. Now, the first thing you need to do is to go to the file menu. But just before you do that, there's always a need to check whether we have it existing or not. Now, if you come to the data menu and move to your extreme right, I expect to see the data analysis uh, icon here. It's not here, meaning it has not been activated on this system. So the next thing we need to do here is just to click on the file menu. We have confirmed that it's not here. So we want to activate it so we can have it on the system. So you click on the file menu and the drop down menu here appears. We look out for options down this line. Um, we do not have it there. You see more. So if you click on more, just move to your right hand side, you definitely see options. Click on options and it brings out a dialog box. This dialog box you can see here. It's separated into two rectangles. Um, the first rectangle, vertical vector, rectangle, down the line, look out for add-ins. Click on that add-in buttons and give it a while. Um, on the right hand side, you'll notice there is a change, a change in the uh, box we have just beside the vertical rectangle. Look below and look out for manage Excel add-ins. Just beside that button, you see a smaller button, G-O, go. Click on the go button, and then a smaller dialog box appears again. Check, you can check the first two boxes beside analysis tool pack and analysis tool pack VBA, and then click on OK. Now you can see we have here data analysis. So with this, you can now find out, if you click on it, you'll find out you have all your tools, the ANOVA single factor, ANOVA two factor with replication, ANOVA two factor without replication, correlation, and so on and so forth. So with these, we'll be able to run data analysis with Microsoft Excel. Uh, we'll be able to explain this further in our next video. Thank you for coming to this channel. 